Ladies and gentlemen, recorded in June of 1983, the late Congressman Lawrence Patton MacDonald. Take out a sheet of paper and take a pen, a pencil, and write up at the top of the page 1982. And write down what did you do in the year of 1982 to restore a constitutional republic, limited government, or restraints by law. What did you do to rebuild our free enterprise system to actively remove the shackles? I don't mean that you had a job. Uh, and I don't mean that you registered to vote and voted. I assume you did those. I do not mean that you paid your parking tickets. I assume you did those. But what did you do to actively restore these values that our grandparents, great-grandparents, forefathers worked to give us that we take for granted. This has made America such a wonderful place to grow up in. Most of us, if we're honest, if we're really honest, we wind up with a blank sheet of page. Now I ask yourself, are you really satisfied with a blank sheet of page? With the American society being destroyed economically where your children will live in slavery just to pay your debts? Children of Rome, incidentally, wound up being taxed over 100% taxation. Some families sold their children in slavery just to pay the taxes. To give you an idea of how serious it became. And I'm not so sure that we're so far behind in the enormous burden that we're handing our bright young graduates today Say, Merry Christmas, get a job, work hard, because you're going to pay the debts for the bills, for the monies that we have spent long ago. Let me urge you to get involved and ask you, if you haven't been involved, what will it take? Do you have to wait until your child comes back from college twisted as a young hippie Marxist because of some smart Marxist professor that able to grab hold of the young brain and twist it like putty because they did not learn fundamentals, basic fundamentals in their home society, in their own high school. You have to wait until you lose a son in a no-win conflict as in Korea or Vietnam before you decide that you're involved. You have to wait until you lose your job due to inflation or government caused inflation or high interest rates. You have to wait until you realize that your church is taking your offering money to support terrorist activities abroad, to burn missionaries and to burn uh, down missions. To some Americans, I think they will have to face some personal catastrophe before they're willing to face up to the fact that they are involved. I would urge you tonight to remember that organization is the key. From my own perspective, as your representative, as one who's active in a lot of areas, I would urge you to get active at your local level. 